Hallelujah. Hey, son. Hey, Baba. Good, good to see you again. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. In Proverbs chapter 11, verse 11, it says, By the blessing of the upright, the city is exalted. Mm. Wow. By the blessing of the upright, the city is exalted. Now, I want you to catch this. The city consists of people. Like right now, we're in a city, right? Mm -hmm. And the city consists of people, individuals, systems, and all those different type of things. The word of God is saying right here that by the blessing the, of the upright, the city is exalted. Mm -hmm. That means that people are benefiting mm, wow. from the blessing that you have. Wow. Now, this means that the blessing of the Lord, it brings you into a place of riches and wealth. But it also causes prosperity to hit the environment in which you live. Wow. Wow. The place mm -hmm. gets the benefit from you. Because if we look at this here, the city is being lifted up. Mm -hmm. It is being upgraded. Now, this is large wealth. Wow. Mm -hmm. Let's go here to, uh, so you know what Deuteronomy 28 is in that Bible? It's in, the, in the, it's in the back. Let's go here to Deuteronomy 28. It's talking about how powerful when the blessing is at work in you, all the things that's going to happen, what's going to occur. Now, look at verse 20, uh, chapter 28. Uh, you in 28? Yeah. Um, go, go there to uh, read. Um, uh, go to verse 12. Verse 12? Yeah, sure, be in there. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasures the heaven to give the, the rain unto thy land mm -hmm. in his season mm -hmm. and to bless all the work of thy hands and thou shalt lead unto many nations and thou shalt not borrow. Look what it's saying right here. It's saying that thou shalt lend to yeah. many, nations many nations and not borrow. Wow. Now that's the blessing of the upright that exalts the city. Mm. Wow. 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 So watch what it's saying. Like there's a large wealth plan of God here. This is God's large wealth plan for the sower. This is this is the end result. Now, so what do you think about when you read this? Him saying he going to open up unto thee the good treasure. And the heaven shall give thee rain. In the land and season, bless all the work of thine hand. What 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 you think about when you when you see that? <clears throat> when when he said he will open up unto thine his treasures, I mean like favor wisdom mm -hmm. understanding mm -hmm. these are treasures from god for you to create your wealth and we can see it in the story of of joseph joseph as he was you know being groomed walking in into his the purpose mm -hmm. when he got there now he, he was exalted his nation egypt was exalted because of him exactly he was lending to all the nations around when the famine hit, hit that land. Mm -hmm. Now, God is willing to open up his treasure, mm -hmm. but are we are willing to open up to God to receive those treasures? Mm. 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 And, and remember what Jesus said that where a man heart is, his treasure will be also. Mm -hmm. Or wherever his treasure is, his heart will be also. However we say it. it. He was he was dealing with how sowing is a heart matter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whatever you treasure, you will not be open to give to God. Mm -hmm. Wow. 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 Even if it's your body. Mm. Whoa. Like, son, there's people that won't give their body to the Lord. Like, the Lord can't use their body because they treasure that body. They want to use it for sin. Mm. Wow. Whatever you treasure, you will not be free to sow. Wow. That's what I'm saying. If someone lives their whole life and they sow $10, mm -hmm. And they spend their whole life sowing $100 everywhere else. 
and they if you get into a conversation with them and they say, "Well, the Lord, you know, they, you know, they, we, we, I'm, I'm so intent, you know, it's, it's all good, you know." In all actuality, that person, they don't treasure that God is worth more than ten dollars. Wow. Mm -hmm. In their mind, they believe everything else is. But everything else is temporal. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. So if I buy shoes for $200 or $100 or $50, that is not going to be with me 500 years from now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. So I want you to catch this. So if I spend money on everything throughout my life, and then when I get to God, I don't dream about sowing. At the level I have sown into things that are temporal, I know that my heart is wicked. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now, watch this here. I may say, well, I'm not having sex with nobody. I may say, I don't got no children out of wedlock. I may say, I never killed nobody with no gun. I never stabbed nobody. I never raped nobody jogging down the street. I could say, I never molested a child. I never, I never uh, robbed no banks. But my heart is wicked in the aspect that I could invest everything else as treasure. But when it comes to the one that gave me life to even see the things that I see as treasure, wow. I don't dream about sowing big into it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Son, wickedness and worship are two options that everybody is offered when you come into this earth realm. Mm. Wickedness or worship. Mm. And when someone sticks to worship, they also become wise mm -hmm. and they also become willing and they start winning. When someone sticks to wickedness, they become fearful, mm. stubborn, closed down and sinning mm -hmm. instead of winning. Wow. And when someone operates in wickedness, they close down on God rather than open up to God and let God have his way. Mm -hmm. So they're not thinking about the Lord as if he's a person. They only think about the Lord as if he's a bank. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. So I want to withdraw. I need a miracle. I withdraw. I need help. I withdraw. I need protection. I withdraw. My child not saved. They going through. They doing stuff. I ain't raising them to do. I withdraw. I don't like what's happening in my personal life right now. My body is hurt right now. I need healing from my sickness. Withdraw. I don't like how I don't got money to pay for my bills. I withdraw. I don't like how I don't got a car. I withdraw. I don't like how I don't got a house. I'm staying in the shelter right now. I withdraw. I don't like living with nobody. I want to have my own place. And even that is wicked. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is wicked. <laughs> because God made you because he wanted a bank system he could withdraw from. Mm. Wow. Mm. Remember, right. God is not who created the world. I'm going to shock you. Mm. Listen to me closely. God is not who created the world. Mm. The Lord is who created the world. His office is God. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's so powerful. His office is God. Wow. But his identity is the Lord. Mm -hmm. That's why he revealed it to Moses. I am the Lord. Wow. Mm -hmm. He revealed it to Moses. Now, his office is God. A God is anything that you attend to. Mm -hmm. So... His office is God, meaning he called himself God because he's saying, I am the main object you should attend to mm -hmm. when you come into the earth. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. So now you get a revelation. God is not the one that made everything. Mm -hmm. The Lord is what made everything. God is, is his office. He immersed himself and called himself the office because he's saying, I'm the first and the only that you're supposed to attend to when you come here. Wow. I, the Lord, am supposed to be the one that you pay all the attention, give all the worship, give all the thoughtful. So what happens is people don't give that attentiveness to the Lord. Mm -hmm. So by default, they become wicked. Wicked. Yeah. 
Wow.